Hi, Matt here with Uniweld Products. In this video, we're going to go over the home screen of the SmartTech app. Let's get started. The SmartTech logo is a live link that will redirect you to the SmartTech website where there are helpful tutorial videos and an email form that can be used to contact Uniweld with any questions, concerns, or recommendations. The envelope button will automatically export a system performance report as a CSV or PDF file to be emailed or saved as a draft. The pencil button allows you to enter project details, project notes, and company information that will all show up on the system performance report. The home button here will take you back to the home screen. Here you can change the device settings. Choose between SmartTech manifold meter wireless data input or manual data input. You can change elevation, superheat and subcooling input, email preference, and update your profile information. There are also step-by-step -step instructional procedures explaining how to factory default or calibrate the meter and how to change the pressure and temperature measurements. This button shows the refrigerant that is selected, and to change the selected refrigerant, press the button and you can browse the list of 109 refrigerant profiles. Check the button next to your most commonly used refrigerants and they'll be added to the save list above. Press the desired refrigerant and it is now selected. This button is used to connect the app with the Usman manifold. When the button displays connect, that means the app is not connected to the Usman. Press the connect button to enter the pairing screen, and once the Usman manifold is connected to the app, the button will display a signal icon indicating a successful connection. Press the signal icon to enter the pairing screen to disconnect from the manifold. This button will also display manual if the app is being used in manual mode, which can be changed in the device settings. This is where all of the system readings are displayed. Here we see the low side pressure and high side pressure, vapor saturation and liquid saturation, low side temperature and high side temperature. Superheat and subcooling calculations are done automatically and show here. You can easily toggle between superheat and subcooling by pressing either one. This field features the smart charge zone. The difference between the target and actual superheat or subcooling is shown here with color indicators. For example, I've set the subcooling target at 10, and as I change the value for the high side pressure, you will see the color indicator change. Red means the system is overcharged, blue means it is undercharged, and green means the system is properly charged. This makes it very easy to get the perfect system charge for maximum efficiency and optimal performance. All of the fields we have looked at so far are auto-populated by the Usman manifold. These four fields at the bottom require manual data entry. This is the outdoor dry bulb, indoor wet bulb, return air dry bulb, and supply air dry bulb. The delta split will be auto-calculated when the return air dry bulb and the supply air dry bulb are entered. Thanks for watching. I'm Matt with Uniweld, quality tools that go to work with you.